there is a whole lot of target groups put down onto paper. There's a whole lot of different purposes put down onto paper, but still you miss the target groups when it comes to actually moving on and moving towards usually uh, using your tools and so forth. Why is that? Let's first have a look at the different purposes. You have two different, very different type of purposes for communications in development cooperation. The first one is relaying the goodness of your project. You raise awareness about your project. You want to make sure that your donors know about it. And this sort of, let's call it PR type of communications. And then you have communications that's more from within the project where you want to use the tools to actually promote some of the targets that your project has in itself. Let's say you're in a nutrition related project out in Cambodia and you want to make sure that you or you want to use video, for example, to relay certain information about breastfeeding or so, anything like that to your target group which is lactating mothers. That's very different setup. Now, let's look at the first type for this. When it comes to raising awareness about your project or talking about the impact of your project, you have usually, let's say, three types of target groups. The first is your broad public. The second is more narrowed down, the more interested public. And the third one would be something like your politicians, your policymakers. Move that into different approaches. So don't try to mix that all in one. 